Welcome back. The American Academy of Pediatric Dentistry has a new picture of children's dental health after a recent survey, and it's letting parents know that there could be they could be doing a lot more about their children's oral health in many cases. And here with some advice and information on the topic for parents, we're pleased to welcome Dr. Jackie Banahan of Pediatric Dentist. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you for inviting me to come today. It was a little bit shocking, um, whether you're a parent or in the in the profession of dentistry, to kind of see nationally what this trend shows of all the things parents aren't doing when it comes to their children's dental health. Tell us a little bit about that. The American Academy of Pediatric Dentistry recommends that a child have their first visit within the first year and when the, fe the teeth first start coming in. But what we found from the survey was 97% of all moms and dads did not know this and therefore only about 3% of the children are being seen by age one. So we have a slogan, get it done by age one, get your child in and get those teeth checked out. Now you're seeing here a, a graphic that shows kind of on average when children finally do make it to see a dentist for the first time and um, some average parents waiting until two to three years. What's the problem with waiting so long for that? That way the parent is not getting the information they need to be able to do the preventive measures to keep their child's mouth healthy. And what we found is that the cost can be as much as 40% greater dental costs 40 percent greater if you don't have your child in by age one and that way we can give the parent the information about what they need to be doing to keep the child's mouth clean we can talk about preventive measures we can make sure that the child's dental development is what it should be talk about habits and all sorts of issues so it's like a well baby visit giving the parent the information they need to keep their child healthy and there's kind of a checklist for parents. Um, I remember, you know, with my kids, uh, even rubbing the gums before they even had teeth there and cleaning those. And there are some things that parents need to make sure they're doing with their kids to keep their smile healthy. That's right. We found that 45%, that's just about half of the parents are doing what you were talking about by using a little gauze or a, uh, even a wet washcloth and wipe the child's mouth out at least twice a day after feedings. And then they also need to be sure that the child is getting off the bottle by age uh, 12 to 14 months. They need to make sure that the child's getting the proper amount of fluoride. A lot of parents don't realize that their child isn't getting fluoride. A lot of people nowadays use the bottled water and most of the bottled waters do not have the fluoride added. So you need to use tap water here locally in most of our surrounding counties also. We do have fluoride added to our water. So if you use regular tap water, you don't filter the fluoride out, you are getting the right amount. And I know we were talking a little bit in the in the break um, about, you know, as a parent, especially if you have toddlers and wondering if they'll sit still for that first visit and you're saying, you guys are used to that. So even if a parent thinks a child may not be ready, you should uh, go ahead and try to make an appointment. That's right. And, you know, that's what we're there for. Pediatric dentists are used to working with children. We have two to three additional years of training after dental school to learn about child psychology and about the child's dental development. And that's what we're there for. It's just like taking your child to the pediatrician. And we love to see kids, and especially the little babies. Oh, the whole staff just loves it when the kids come in, and especially the little ones. They're so cute. And, you know, if your child does cry, hey, that's, you know, they cry about lots of things. But most of them do really, really well. And like we were talking, they get used to coming, and that was what you were saying. You were wanting them there just to get used to the child being in the dental office. Yeah, well, it, uh, my kids survived it and had a wonderful experience, and as a parent, you feel better knowing that they've gotten that taken care of. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to share that important information with us. And if you want more information on children's dental health, you've been seeing the um, Academy of Pediatric Dentistry website right there on the bottom of your screen. We'll be right back with a check of your forecast.